Hello everyone, and welcome to my look at Kokoro Clover Season 1 on the Nintendo Switch. I don't know anything about this game, but uh, I saw it on... Well, basically, I have a website where I can look up games that I want to showcase, and, uh, you know... I saw this one on there, and I said, dang, that looks anime. You know, you know how it is for me. Gotcha Gotcha Games, that is a great name. For me. This is a pixel game maker, okay. There's some crazy stuff you can do with those pixel game makers. Don't knock it because it's that for sure. But uh, I'm, I saw this and I'm like, yeah, let's go. The season one is not because it's like like a Life is Strange thing where it's like sequentially released. I'm pretty sure it's because it's like a full season of an anime, which, hey, 12 episodes of an anime, that's comfy as heck to me. So we'll give this a go as soon as it loads. But of course, you know, loading on the Switch. Phoenix. That almost sounded like another Mama, word. <gasps> they have the time in the corner! Oh, this is very Tanner Core. Does it have a full OP and everything? I sure hope so. Oh, and then the time goes right there! Oh my god. I am immediately loving this presentation. The scan lines, the time in the corner. So no singing, we got pixel sounds instead, that's fair. You gotta go either into the game or the, or the anime aesthetic, you gotta pick one, right? This is so good. Look at all these like, it's- I could literally take a shot for every trope I'm seeing here. Also, shoutouts to these robot masters. Like, it's- it's- it's so on the nose. I love it. Yo, do we got elemental powers? Yo, we got combining robots? Gatai? Oh, cards? Yo, we got card transformation, we got idle stuff. Oh my god, further transformations. Okay, that was... That was really good. That was really, really... And it's been a minute? Oh my god. This is so good. Let's do this. Press any button, let's go. Language? Pop that into English for me. Let's start. Sunday morning in story mode. Gather adventure- uh, collectibles in adventure mode. Settle score in boss rush. Buy goodies with the coins in the shop. Check your records in there. Music, minigame, and options. Let's start with options, because I always do that. Controls? What do we got? I feel like a, there's a dance button. Jump, attack, transform assist. Okay, that, that, that all makes sense to me. Change display? You can switch your characters? That's fun. I'm not gonna do that, though. Watch videos from the game? Okay. Credits? Alright. Borders? I'm just gonna stick with the default for sure. This is- this is- okay. We'll start with story mode, then. Tutorial, yes please. Are the scan lines always there? Because if so, again, that's a very Tanner Core thing. I like scan lines. And I feel like if you didn't grow up with CRTs, it just won't make sense. Right? Well, oh, good, I was gonna say, I can't read that. Welcome to the tutorial. I'm Spirit Summoner Treffy. I'll teach you what your controls are when you're playing the stages. Move left and right, uh, jump with B, attack with Y, give it a shot. Okay, that feels good. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a dang video game. Uh... Press A to call on your assist friends. They can do all sorts of things with assists. Some of them restore your health, some of them attack. They all cost magic, though, so be careful. Magic will recover automatically by using cheer. Okay, so they come on out. Use R dance. You read that right? That's all it's for. I'll let you in on a secret. You won't take any damage. Whoa! Whoa! 
high frames while we dance? That's incredible! Okay, so you have your sets there. Different- Oh, there's different dances? Oh, I see. So you you set your... You set your assist. Yo! Yo! Press X to transform and change characters. Use your transformations characters will increase as you go through the game. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so little little Shantae. The character on the card you choose will cheer for you. You find cards all over the place, so be sure to snatch them up. Okay. Go to that guy. So, uh... When your cheer's at its max, press L to perform a special move. It will deal massive damage to the enemies. Okay. So, screen nuke. Screen nuke button. Good to know, good to know. Okay. So, yeah, you got your different sets there. Which you pop with that. Okay. Uh, yeah, ZLZR to switch your sets. Okay. Okay, we just murdered a Talo. You find hidden treasure in stages. Check the ones you're going for by going to library mode. Okay. Yay. Okay. That about does it. Don't uh, worry if freaking patrols come back anytime. For now, just remember to use the assist to recover if you're in trouble. All right, later. Let her little dance. There she goes. All right, episode one. The Spirit Summoner Treffy. What? What does choosing the time do? Do time slots change? Okay. Okay, so character... We only have one character so far, and our sets, we don't really have anything to change. Already, let's go. Oh my god, you choose the time and everything. Intruder alert! Bring me up to speed. Valtz made his way on board the ship after attacking us with a giant mech. He stole the Crocor Clovers, now making his escape. The cargo holds well as deck. We have sustained heavy damage. I can't believe he'd attack us while transporting it back home. No, this guy looks kind of pompous. He should be like, hmm, you sadistic poor excuse of a little brother. The lengths he'll go to just to get in my way. <laughs> now what? Oh, there he is. Look at him, he's pointing at it. Awaiting your orders, Prince Valklyr. Shoot them down. What? You heard me, they took the Kokoro Clover, fired that insolent mech and don't stop. The prince then... The gem hasn't gotten a scratch, single scratch on it after nearly a decade of research. It won't be difficult, uh, destroyed by mere cannon fire. And we can't track them down easily after we blow them out of the sky, we can. This, I'll say, text at the bottom, kinda small. Do you know how many times Valix has made a fool of me by getting in their way? Now is my chance to bring an end to my little brother's nonsense. Don't let them go obliterate that mech. Understood. Yeah, there's no way my dumb brother can reach us this far away. You know, Nekoko. That was a flawless victory if I do say so myself. Oh, it's a cat. I don't know. Personally speaking, I think we the way we barged in there lacked style and grace. Well, all that matters is that it's pretty little ge it's this pretty little gem we got our hands on. Oh, there it goes. Are you kidding me? They're shooting at us? No, I dropped the gem. What are you littering now? Oh, that's that's a rough one. I knew you should have come on board instead of standing out there showing off. Uh oh, we've got a problem. The controls are malfunctioning. Valx brace for impact. Oh, this is like straight out of Monster Hunter. For what? No, no do something, Nekoko. Curse you, Valkly. I'm, I'm going down. You're coming with me. Direct hit. Now we got him. Oh, the robot's flying toward us at high speed. <laughs> the little sprite. <laughs> Direct hit on the port wing. We can't sustain flight like this. No, do something. Well, this is how she gets the thing. Whoa. 
What a pain, what a pain in the tail feather. Come cat, cat, cat six. Yeah, I'm handling this for you, boss. Cat's cat six? What's that, what sort of pun is that trying to be? I don't know. Oh, what a nice little abode. A nice little place. Time to rise in slime. Slime? Oh, shine, sleepyhead. You've been asleep all morning. Me, IRL. Yep, that's me. Oh, no, you don't. Episode 1, the Spirit Summoner Treffy. Oh, there we go. It said it. I was like, I didn't think it would, but it did. Hey, come on, Gramps. I want to go out and see the world. I'm absolutely not. What? No fair. You didn't even listen to me. Already heard it before, Treffy. Yesterday, the day before that last week, you're a broken record, you hear? Enough of that hogwash. Your imagination's running too wild with all them books you read. The friggin' Twilights and the, and the Breaking Dawns and the Sonic Booms. You know, the Sonic Boom Rise of... Okay. Grandpa needs a nap. It's here for us all you need. It's peaceful, and there ain't no one to be around to bother you for being a spirit summoner. You don't realize how good you got it here, sweetheart. Oh, that's not text. Baby birds don't decide when to leave for themselves. You ain't even ten years old yet. No way I'm letting a little girl go on an adventure all by herself. But Dee and Sal both said they'd come with me. You're gonna stick out like a sore thumb with a couple of spirits by your side. Listen, Treffy, regular folk, they just don't understand spirits. Even them townsfolk nearby are afraid of them. I'm worried that everyone outside won't accept you for being what you are, a spirit summoner. I just don't want you hurt, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, time sure does fly. It's already been eight years since I found you. Now look at you. Now where'd you go? That's a cute- that's a cute transition! Oh, I like it! Look at her! There's- this game is kinda oozing charm, huh? Better luck next time, I guess. It's no- not fair, D. Ah, there's always tomorrow! You do understand why Gramps feels that way after let, uh, letting you leave, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't wanna go off on a great big adventure full of excitement and wonder! Oh, I just wish he changed his mind. Oh, hey, your compass. Isn't that a keepsake of yours? Yeah, Gramps said I was holding it back when he found me. It's busted. The needle won't move. The needle won't move and neither will I. But you know what? I'm going to fix it someday and finally go on my big adventure. I want to see all kinds of new places meet all sorts of new spirits, too. And also, I want to know, why do I have the power to harness spirits but nobody else does? Maybe I'll find my pot. <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. No, oh, Trevor, I forgot to tell you. What is it, Sal? I was hanging out near the outskirts of the forest this morning and I spotted a spirit I've never seen before. He took up part to say anything. I was wondering if you knew anything about him. What do you look like? What? I guess I kind of look like a cat. Doesn't ring any bells. Must be new here. It's been about four or five years now since you first appeared in the woods. Right, Sal? Yeah. I know what it feels like being the new kid on the block. So I wanted to be the first to introduce myself. You don't have the most gentle appearance. Maybe you were scared. Scared? Of what? I look awesome, D. How about we go look for him together? He's probably afraid being all alone in a brand new place. Oh, yeah, good idea. All right, time to go exploring. That's a chicken chocobo. A chococobo. A witch here in the forest. That's right, a witch lives in the woods near the forest, near here. You two better best keep your distance. Oh, I was gonna say, I don't know who's speaking, but then it shows the white outline. I like that. Not that, not that story again. Did you forget what happened four years ago? Don't let a cute appearance fool you. Should turn you right into an empty shell of a person. Well, I heard she's just a little girl, and it's just her and her grandpa that live together. The two of you never come ar uh, two of them never come around anymore because people like you keep spreading these nasty rumors. You know, Nekoko, I don't really care what these two are talking about. Oh, that's the robot! Okay. But I'll bet you it's worth our while to check out the woods. What do you say? Meow. I'm positive that you know what is nearby. The thorns is dust with mana. It's gotta be close. You two ain't thinking about going there, are you? It ain't safe, I tell ya. There are monsters and who knows what else. Eh, that won't be a problem for us. Alright, Nakoko, now that our bellies are full, how about we blow this joint? 
Uh, on that note, buddy, we really appreciate you ordering so much, but uh, you two gonna be able to cover all this food? But of course, check please. What I really meant was, make that a rain check. Oh yeah? Yeah! The Coco now. Oh yeah, time to pounce. That is... Me. Me IRL. Yo, okay! Yo, Tron Bond types, let's do this. A Cat Terminator! I love it! You died in Dashers! This is pretty great. This is pretty good so far. Even just as like an interactive story. Like it's just, it's giving me the feelings of, yeah. Watching that early morning anime. Alright, here we go. So I'm guessing we can't transform yet? Oh no, we can. I'm wondering what that's gonna actually change as we play. I'll say this, like, this, in feeling, feels really good. We can go down. Let's switch our... Switch our assists so that we can have some attacks when we need them. Oh, how do I... Okay. We got our super move. Kill them all. Hmm. Something in there. Okay, we got a dance. No, wrong one. Does dancing with the monkey do anything? No, but that's okay. Oh, ow. Okay, we got projectile boys. Gotta watch for eyeballs. Got some Minecraft bees. Got some slime boys. I like how you kill the enemy and it instantly gives you the money. You don't have to actually collect it. Ooh, we had like a ride on. Ooh, I got something there. Ow. Okay, so I just pop her and she heals me automatically? Or is it once? Okay, so you just pop it and then she heals you. Okay, and then she just saves me for a bit. Let her go. Yeah. Now, considering there's a boss rush mode, I'm going to assume that the bosses are, like, the big thing. Burn, baby, burn! Campfire Inferno! I've had it with this localization. Because, get it? Because that was not what he said in Japanese, I'm pretty sure. But that's fine. Huh? Is, that, is that the cat spirit you're talking about? Heck no, that's no spirit! Hey, you! You better knock it off! Show some more respect for Mother Nature! Hey, who's this brat? Huh. Nice! A little, little confetti. There were people inside there! You two identify yourselves! Listen carefully! I am the greatest treasure under the world's ever seen! The great Vac v Valks Vulcan in the flesh! Don't forget about me, boss! Ah, uh, yes, and my partner in crime, Nikoko Cat! Meow, that's right! There, there it is, there it is! Who? Never heard of ya! How embarrassing! Oh, come on. I guess I shouldn't expect much out of these country bumpkins. Please, please, I know you're dying to know what we're doing here. It's written all over your faces. You do want to know, don't you? I'm uh, kind of a Butterfingers, and I dropped something very valuable somewhere in the forest. I'm trying to find it, but wouldn't you know it? Forests and tons of trees! What a concept. So I'm not having much luck. I tried burning the tall grass, but uh, no dice. So that's when I got the brilliant idea to chop and burn everything down. Raise the forest to the ground and it's sure to be found. This guy sucks. Oh no, you don't. I'm not letting you do anything of the sort. Check out the nosy girl with the braids, sputting in like it's no like it's her business. I don't have time to play, but if you insist, I'll be happy to teach you a lesson. Let's do this. Boss fight. Power on. If it's a fight you want, you got it. The humans, though, are you sure you want to unleash your matter on them? We're just gonna end up making them free us like the villagers do. If it protects our force from harm, then it's worth it. Let's dance! You're right, if they want to play with fire, they're gonna get burned! Alright. Boss battle time. Let's do this. Look at those gamers. They sure do be gaming. I'm gonna pop over to Sal there. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, jumping. Oh, he's cheering too. Good. Okay. 
Whoop! Jumped right over that. Nice! The, the dance button? Pretty dang great. Pretty dang good. Wish it, wish every game had a dance button. Yeah. How are you able to use Battle for Me 1 like that? Holy crap, you're the witch that everyone in the village kept telling me about, aren't you? What? No, you've got me mixed up with someone else. I'm not a witch, I'm a spirit summoner. Come on, boss, don't forget your little brother is heading this way too. Let's put some pep in our step. Good idea, Dick Coco. No way in the heck I'm letting him steal that gem back. We ought to make like a tree and get out of here. Meow, that sounds meow. That sounds like a pl oh, I I vertical retreat. I have suddenly remember I left the stove on smelly breads later. <laughs> You're right, Treffy. Yeah, thanks, D. Looks like it went toward the outskirts of the forest. Let's follow them. Plus, we still gotta find that spirit you mentioned, Sal. There's even an eye catch. Oh, please tell me there's commercials. That was an advertisement for the Switch version. That happened mid-game. That's amazing! That's exactly what I wanted! I'm like, I want there to be an ad. What would they do? They put an ad for the game you're playing. Huh? Did you see something? What well, is that the Kokoro Clover? Oh, because it's like hearts! That's the Kokoro Clover. Okay, yeah. Wow, look at this. It's like a clover of gemstones. I've never seen anything like that before. I wonder if that's the thing that Bash Dude said he dropped. What was his name? This belongs to them? That makes sense. It's so beautiful. I don't know if I like the idea of holding on to this. Maybe we should take it to Gramps. Oh, that reminds me. Gramps asked me to gather some herbs from around here. Well, hey, that's pretty convenient. Two birds, one stone. Yeah. She just does little dances, huh? Something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. I just saw my compass sparkle just now. Hmm, this clover is shaped a lot like my compass. Put it in. Click it in. Just click. I can't find that darn thing anywhere. Man, we really got our butts handed to us by that little brat. She's not even a spirit. What's her deal? The deeper we go into these woods, the more monsters we encounter. I want to find the Kokoro Clover before my next catnap. What? Did she just met? She? Dang. All right. Did she just mention the Kokoro Clover? You there. Another spirit. The girl sent her goons to finish us off. Please, I'm so sorry. I've seen the error of my ways. I'll never burn another tree again. No more campfires. No more stoves. I won't even strike another match. <laughs> what are you talking about? What do you know about the Kokoro Clover? Is it here in the forest? Ah, if you know something, don't you know something, don't you? Well, if you're not going to tell me, then I'll get it out of you myself. Yikes, what? Did she just fuse with you? Are you feline okay, boss? That's a girl too, okay. I know you're looking for the Kokoro Clover and you're going to help me find it. Whoa! Okay! Yeah! Holy cats! Vox? It worked. We're combined. This pathetic weirdo's under my control now. So oh, this is what inspiriting feels like. Oh my god, fusions, let's go. Never done it before, but it's pretty cool. I'm so much stronger now. Looks like his memories are telling me where the Kokoro Clover is indeed, somewhere in the forest. Oh, he was born in the forest so he could find it. Say, he's not as dumb as I thought. <laughs> oh no, what do I do? He's not his self anymore. Did they just put all the dialogue in a cat pun generator? Because it feels like they did that. Oh, what's that I see? Hey, why are you in a hurry all of a sudden? Something's going on over there. I don't know what it is, but I can sense something really powerful. That's what I'm talking about. I guess I'm a bit too long in the tooth for fighting. Gramps! What? Who's that? Is that the weird guy from earlier? No, I said spirit energy within him. It's familiar. Could it be the spirit I saw this morning? Was he in spirit against his will? This is no ordinary human form. Definitely, you can only get powers like these from inspiriting. Leave my gramps alone. Don't you lay another finger on him. My, my. Look at the crowd I've amassed. You, what's that in your hand? Good heavens, is that the girl girl clover? Treffy, what in the world are you doing with that? Huh? I only just found it. No, say it ain't so. My lucky bones. Can't believe I found it already. All right, you twerp. Be a good little girl. Hand it over. And no funny business. Throw down your wand or the LC old geezer gets it. 
Doors of Spirit says, Trevi, that dumb rock isn't worth Grap's life. No doubt. No, don't you dare, Trevi. Take that with you and get out of here, you hear? What, Gramps, what are you talking about? That gem there is more important than you know. It represents the bond between humans and elemental spirits. I ain't got no clue how it's made its way here or why you got it now. But you mustn't let it fall into the hands of anyone with ill intentions, be it human or spirit. Look at this old coot so knowledgeable. But you forgot to mention that you filthy humans will want to defile that bond. Now it's the time for us spirits to use the Kokoro Clover to take something away from you. The power found in your hearts. Now, give me the Kokoro Clover. You won't think I, you think I won't put an end to this old man, I'll do it. Sweetheart, forget him. Oh, sweetheart, forget about me. Old man voice. Gotta remember the old man voice. You gotta run now. Uh, but, but I... No, I refuse. Trevi. Fine, have it your way. Get away, get away from my gramps. Henshin? That's not a henshin at all. Gah. Gramps, you okay? Urgh. Hurry, before the spear gets back up. Leave me, take the clover and go. No, that awful spear hurt my gramps in our forest. They must be stopped. Come on, I'm waiting for the henshin. We got the henshin thing, let us henshin. Yo, my man's got a rider kick. I won't fall for another one of your pathetic cheap shots. Happy. I've felt these bad feelings before. What, you thinking about running? Not happening. It's over, little girl. The old man tried to keep me from you, but his efforts were in vain. And after I defeat you, I'll take the Cocoa Clover, and then I'll hunt that geezer down and him too. Whoa? Whoa? Something snapped. It's the witch! Someone save us! She'll turn us all to empty shells. Run! No, it's not me, not me. Oh. Everyone in the village is afraid of my powers, but Gramps and my friends aren't afraid. I'm not alone when I'm with them, because they love me. They accept me for who I am. I protect my f those who love me. My family, my friends, the first I call home, I'll protect them from the likes of you! Yeah. I have incredible abilities. I know so because people don't understand my powers, so they fear them. I have the power to defeat this evildoer. I only need the courage to stand up and fight back. And those I love give me the courage to fight. Yeah, here we go! D, lend me your strength! You mean it? Okay, got it. Yeah! Aqua form! Green haired twerpkin in spirit, too? Ah, uh, she said Henshin. I am Treffy, the spirit summoner. I say what I mean and I do what I say. And I'm gonna take it down, you know, good spirit. She's totally different now. Is this blue haired twerp? <laughs> totally, totally different. You cocky little, get ready to feel the burn. So I'm guessing there's elemental matchups. Is that what we're going with? Because I was like, what's the differences, I wonder? And now that I see that, that's like clearly fire based with the fire common rider kicks, we're gonna be getting into, you know, use water on them. Okay. Yeah, okay. No! Okay, so call in assists. Okay. Okay. Okay! Oh, that's rad! That's some common Rider double right there. Okay. Ah, oh, I tried jumping over that. Okay, so the bosses definitely have some- they have- they have some shmovement. I mean, this is early on, but I'm sure they're gonna get more later. Like, crazy. Time to show these jerks who's the real hot stuff around here. Are you alright, Treffy? Yeah. Uh, I could use a nap. Treffy? Gramps! I'm so glad you're okay. Now what's happening? My compass glowing? Oh my gosh, Neil's moving! Is it pointing towards something? It probably got jostled during the fight. Maybe all it needed to get working was a good smack. Why do I sound like strong bad? Beats me, I'm just glad it's fixed. Looks like the Cocoa Clover or looks like the uh, Oh, old man voice. Looks like the Cocoa Clover led the way to your compass. Hey what? What is this clover thing anyway? The Cocoa Clover was created by the four great elemental spirits. Whoa, that red one's really rad. Wait, okay, hold up. The green one is Bubble Bobble. A hundred percent. The blue one? Kinda Final Fantasy. That red one is rad and Gurren Lagan. That orange one, I don't know. But that is just Bubble Bobble. Long ago, the world was in peril and the spirits needed to, to combine their powers to do something about it. 
Using the power of the, Cogro, uh, the clover to connect hearts and minds, humans, the spirits join forces to restore the planet. Clover is seen as a symbol of the bond between humans and elemental spirits. But time proved to be very cruel, and those who seek to use the clover for evil deeds began to make themselves known. If no one does anything about it, more evil doers will come to these woods, uh, here woods looking for the clover. Oh my. So the compass I've had all this time is reacting to the clover? What could this compass be leading me to? Gramps, I'm sorry but I have to go, I have to explore the world. Treffy! We can't keep the clover here in the forest. I believe in my heart that this adventure will be very important to me. But, Treffy, you know how many dangerous people are looking for the clover. If you can count on me, I'll protect you too. I ain't never seen her like this. That determination in her eyes, I can tell she means business. My sweetheart, she don't she don't know just how much she means to me. No, maybe I've sheltered her in the confines of these woods for far too long now. Jeffrey, come with me. I've got something to show you. Gramps? A satchel? I always knew this day would come. Gramps? Jeffrey, I gotta tell you something. What is it? A long time ago, I was an adventurer. Ha! <laughs> huh, are you for real? I'm sorry I never told you. Sweetheart, I want you to go out there and adventure your little heart out. The things you'll learn on your travels will prove invaluable to you. Go out there and be who you're meant to be. And I'll be right here waiting for you. I want to hear all about your brave new adventures when you come home. <laughs> Gramps, I love you. Thank you so much. I'll make you proud. I love, I love the fact that the episode time is so perfect. Like, it's so on point. It's playing the OP now because it's the end of the first episode. Oh my goodness. This is so good. And now that you have the context, you can see what, like, what it kind of means. Okay, this is, this is fun. I am enjoying this. Right? When they said that this is going to be a playable anime, like, I don't think they knew, I, I didn't think it would be that accurate. And like, you know, I've played playable anime before that were more akin to like, like, not really anime, they were just like, playable interactive stories, but this really feels like just going through a Saturday morning cartoon, right? All of the fo and it's like the forms, the creatures, the music, the humor, it's really on point to a point to a degree where I'm actually really surprised, even like hinting at future plot points, right? I really appreciate what this game's going for. I'm happy I grabbed this one because I was like, I'm like this. This looks this looks interesting, and I'm I'm happy that it's it's sticking the landing. Oh, but do we got the the sort of next? Yeah, I was gonna say we got to get the 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 final couple minutes here. God, having the the time in the corner is the coolest thing because it literally is. Look at all the mecha stuff around there, but it's literally like. Counting down to the end of the, the episode. It's so good. My back is killing me. I can't believe any of that happened. I have no memory of it. Are you telling me that nosy spirit summoner with the braids has that little gem now? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure she took that pretty gem with it. What well, you did it only once. Uh, when she left the forest, too. What a pain in the butt. I guess what I have to go after her. We'll see to it that she regrets making an enemy out of us. Considering they're together in the opening, though, I think things will change. Welcome to... Oh, it's the the pre-credits little thing. This week's highlights. Here we take a look back on each week's episode and discuss all kinds of things. This week's all about inspiriting. Inspiriting is when we spirits transfer our power over to humans or animals. Spirits have the power of mana, which humans don't have. So when we inspirit them, then uh, they could use our powers. Yeah, but in the last guy's case, he got totally possessed. But when, in, uh, when we inspire like normal, our personalities do mix together a little bit. All right, time for what you've been waiting for. This week's password is say what and I mean. The phrase means that what I always say is always true. You can use these passwords in the shop mode. Oh, say what and I mean. Okay, I gotta remember that. I gotta remember that. Say what and I mean. Oh, you get the card. This is so cool. It, it feels like I'm watching Common Rider. I this is. Wow, this is like actually perfect for what they're going for. 
So if we go to the shop. So if we so let's see here. Check check the story for the password. Thought we had the password. Where's password entry? The story. Oh, that's episode eleven. Oh, does it just unlock this stuff? Collect the story and just. Okay, so oh password. Okay. Uh, say what? I mean. Oh, I see. Nice. And so then that gives us the thing. So you get once for the password. Whirlwind, crazy, crazy. V for victory. Oh, these. Oh, these are victory screens. I think. Let me see here. So we got the library. Are those sprites characters? Let's see here. Nine years old, has the power to summon spirits. She has not be personality dense, like nobody's watching. Loves books, especially adventuring. Her favorite food is stew. Who doesn't love a hearty stew? So we got Salamander. Uh, the most rambunctious is Spirit in the Forest. He can't even be seen on screen. Tries to be dependable older brother type and loves to party. Loves roughhousing. Um, Trevi's best friend, she was like a big sister. Loves to sing, keep things organized. Valk's Vulcan. 23, Roke, who's constantly on the movie self, and Kokoro Clover, so Trevi and the party keep running into him. Now, Coco, a cat, or so she claims. Okay, so yeah. Uh, Self-proclaimed cat, and Valk's sidekick who pilots robots. She insists on being called a cat once, grow once we, when she grows up, she's totally not a cat. The Vulcander, the robot designed by Valk's. The concept uses Valk's signature color and Nekoko's true identity when combined with robot parts turns into a super fine robot, the Vulcan Do. It but usually explodes. Grabs 78 years old. Raised her when, uh, found her when she was A. It was apparently a famous season adventure nowadays. He goes to sound, uh, sell herbs and lumber. He's seen as an old coot. Valkyrie Vulcan. Important figure for the Empire, of course. Strong disdain for his younger brother for some reason. Often prioritizes getting back his brother over official duties. His troops don't have much faith in them. Valk Six in spirited form. Cat Six is in spirited form with Valks. Uses his body against his will. Oh, you know, you're male. Spirit that inspired with Valks, he might be after Cocoa Clover. Out of the fight, he turned his tailbone and made his escape. Oh, it's like Cat and Cock Six. That's amazing, actually. Monsters. Bouncy Barker. Give off a sweet aroma. So they may be a common ancestor with dogs. Slime. They're a staple. They're everywhere. Does wonders for the skin. Fads, I tell ya. <laughs> they hide all kinds of things in their shells. You think they care more about the motion of the ocean. Wait, hold up. Is that. Wait, hold up. They had all things in size each other based on their selections. You think they really? We're doing pee pee jokes. Metal Runer loves to run. Uh, learn to wear sturdy armor. Whenever it runs into something, sometimes it falls into cliffs because it can't see well. Gallery. So is this like the uh... oh character art? Nice. This it, the art is really good. The art really reminds me of a Saturday morning cartoon. Like, 100% Nega Spirits transformations. Yeah, this is cool. Promo art, key art, and miscellaneous. Oh my goodness, this is... Oh, she gets a... That's her... Is that her, her like, powered-up form? I love it. See the cards he collected? Greffy. Salamander. Undyne. Oh, D. Un it's because it's... I think it's Undine, so it'd be D. Oh, this is... Just the way that the card looks, it's giving me memories of being a kid, and oh, it's so good. What minigame is there? Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Well, we gotta do it. Let's start. Nice! Look, we got a rare card right away! Look at us! We got the one on the cover, that's amazing. All right, let's try the, the rhythm game. We'll go with this one. Okay, what is this? I'm sure this will be in the story too later. All right. Big Shantae vibes from this for sure. Okay. It's not a hundred percent timed up. Stop the clover that's biggest? There we go. This is giving me big arcade vibes from Japan though, like a hundred percent.
It's not 100% synced up for sure. But it's fine. Boom. Boom. I almost wish that it went faster. Push them rapidly. I did that. Oh, look at that! This is just giving me the good feelings, man. Pow. Pow. Bup. Bup. Yeah, it's not synced at all. That was fun. That was a cute... You know what? It's a little distraction, but it ain't bad. Look at that. We got perfect on that. We're a true gamer. I'm sure that that is like a, a thing that comes up in the story too. Gather collectibles in adventure mode. Huh. So there's even more stages. Wow. Oh, so you got like extra stages. Phantom Thief Black Cherry. You got some stages and bosses. Okay, that's neat. That's neat. So if you want to skip the story, you can. It's kind of like a Freedom Planet that I get. Okay, so this game's awesome. I'm kind of loving this. Uh, thank you uh, for watching, and thanks to the developers for letting me try this out and show it off. This is a really cool game. I would recommend picking this up. This is, this has charm out the wazoo. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time for some more quick looks. Ciao.